are you feeling about Pennsylvania? I am feeling very good about Pennsylvania because there are a lot of people in Pennsylvania who deserve to be seen and heard. That's why I'm here in Johnstown and I will be continuing to travel around the state. How are you feeling about Pennsylvania? <laughs> I am feeling very good about Pennsylvania because there are a lot of- Oh boy. Whoa, 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 boy. <laughs> I grew up understanding the children of the community are the children of the community. I grew up understanding <laughs> The children of the community are the children of the community. Yeah, I would duck every dodge, every last interview, the legacy meter. I ain't going to the dinner. I ain't going. I ain't going. Y'all not finna be on there asking me questions. You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I don't blame her, y'all. I don't see how anybody's clapping for this lady. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't see how anybody's clapping for this Harris Walls ticket. Sorry. Right particularly those people who are still uh, undecided or maybe indifferent or on the fence still. We love our country. <laughs> I love our country. I know we all do. That's why everybody's here right now. We love our country. We, we take pride in the... Look at Oprah's body language. And look, just look. Just look, just look, look at, look at the body language. Privilege of being American. Oh Lord, oh boy. You see the, the body language from the hair? Watch how she puts her arms up. <laughs> and here, she's like, here she goes again. Oh boy. We might as well just stop the show. This is a moment where we can and must come together as America. Did somebody cough in the back. Did y'all know what that? Y'all know what that cough? Y'all heard somebody cough in the back? Look at that lady in the back, and she coughed. And this is a moment where you see. You hear that cough? Was that a laugh or a cough? Was the audience laughing and co laughing and coughing? We can and must come together as Americans. Understanding we have so much more in common than what separates us. Let's come together with the, the character that we are so proud of about who we are, which is we are an optimistic people. We are an optimistic people. Americans. <laughs> yeah, just stop it right there. Yeah, this, this face shows it all. We feel, we feel your pain, Oprah. We know that big check's coming, though. You, you Hollywood, you elitists, you actors, you celebrities, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Lady, lady can't even tell you a, a plan for the for the middle for the middle class for or only a plan about a, a, a middle class story of growing up. Can't tell you nothing on the economy. Can't tell you a plan. You know, on the border, I was a prosecutor. I mean, crap. They say she's stuck in dodging. Yeah. They say she's ducking and dodging, ducking and dodging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they say she's ducking and dodging. Yeah. They say she's ducking and dodging. Yeah. <laughs> we got a song for Camilla, 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 Comrade, Chameleon. Oh man, communist comrade. She's going to skip the event, y'all. She yeah, this is y'all presidential candidate. There you go. All I can do is show it to you. You know? She's ducking and dodging after getting, you know, get softball after softball after softball, you know. Unbelievable. We get the same thing repeated last week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. People are still trying to understand. Does the lady have a plan? But you get the most motivational speaking, preaching, dreams and aspirations. <laughs> dreams and aspirations. And we want to make sure everybody has an opportunity to give them an opportunity again for the economy. Thank you.
I mean, I, hey, I mean, you know, whatever floats your boat. But now you see why people are packing up their bags. Democrats, lifelong Democrats, packing up their bags in the middle of the day, at night, in the afternoon, in the morning, everybody. They're, they're, they're sick and tired. And then they look at those policies again and says, man, boy. So here now, outnumbered co-host Kaylee McEnany. Hello to you Hi. on a Monday. Yes. Mondays with McEnany. It's yeah, being, I like it's that. Becoming familiar. As long as Bring she's willing. Uh, yes. Listen, this Al Smith, for the folks at home, this is a great opportunity for you as a human being. Yes. Not a politician. As a human being, to look really good. Yeah. You crack some jokes and to make fun of yourself and to have a good time. All right. Here's how the Post puts it here in New York. The candidates are supposed to deliver light jabs at each other in their dueling addresses, which plainly can be written in advance. But the program apparently has too many risks of being called upon for mm. spontaneous reactions for Harris to agree. I, maybe there's some tr truth in that. I, I don't understand it. Go and have a good time and show that you can right. crack a joke. Yes. I agree, but I think this crystallizes what we know about the Harris communication strategy. It's the risk avoidance strategy. She does not want to try her hand at humor. In her view, she had a very successful debate. She wants to stick to that format. The last Democratic candidate not to do this was Mondale in 1984. It didn't turn out too well for him, just saying. But I think she looked back at 2016 Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump at the Al Smith, Smith dinner. Trump really needled Hillary Clinton and didn't turn out well for Clinton. So I think she's playing the, the Clinton hand rather than the Mondale one in her mind she's hoping for. Yeah, it's an interesting strategy. The campaign is running not to lose. Mm -hmm. Okay, and maybe they feel like that it might, and, and it could work. But here's the vice president uh, herself saying that Trump should debate her. Watch. Join me on the debate stage. Let's have another debate. There's more to talk about and the voters of America deserve uh, to hear the conversations that I think we should be having on substance, on issues, on policies. What's your plan? What's my plan? And, um, and we should have another one before Election Day. He said there won't be another one. Do you think that is true? He doesn't need one. No, I don't think that there will be another one. She needs a debate. When you look at the Real Clear politics average, nationally 2.2% is her lead, and Biden had a 7% lead. The New York Times polling that came out today shows great numbers for Trump and the Sun Belt. Granted, she's leading narrowly in these Rust Belt states. She needs a debate. She needs to change things up. She needs voters to know her better. Um, Donald Trump doesn't need that. Voters know him. Mm. One more point about the Al Smith dinner. Biden and Trump were both there in 2020, and neither one of them took shots at each other. Mm -hmm. You can play a clean game on this, all right? That's, I feel bad for the, the, the archdiocese here in New York, because yeah. they raise a ton of money and help a lot of people in this city yeah, based on the money they raise. Yeah, it's a charity event, and it's very uniting. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't get it. Okay, yes. Friday afternoon, this happened at the White House, all right? Mm -hmm. Watch. Here, across previous administration, First Lady's have attended these meetings. He didn't drop his snow cone on the floor. I mean, just snow cone on the floor, ice cream shake on the floor. Just got back fresh off a of vacation. The filler then went on five vacations in a one week time span. Unbelievable. And we pass it off to Jill. Mr. President, you, we, you, we, you just got back from having an, an amazing nap, an amazing vacation. Jill isn't on the ballot. Jill wasn't on the ballot, sir. Dr. Jill, Dr. Jill. Uh, for specific reasons, this is the first time Jill has joined us, and it goes to show uh, how important the issue is, which she's about to speak to. So I'd like to turn it over to Jill and uh, for any comments she has. And it's all yours, kid. Thank you. All right, so yours, kid. Miranda Devine, who exactly is running the country, certainly appears to be Jill Biden and not Joe. That was what the first cabinet <laughs> meeting that he's had in months. almost a year. Months, yes. Look, I mean, yes, she was there to talk about a women's initiative that she's involved in. She spoke for about four and a half minutes. I get that. But look, this comes on the background of reporting that it is the first lady's top aides, Anthony Bernal and Annie Tomasini, that essentially cocooned President Biden from the start of the administration, siphoning off White House residence staff, creating this really insular environment for him. So when you have that reporting, there's rumors that you're in control. You remember the flashy Vogue cover the day after the debate, she comes out, or day, night of the debate, and says you answered all the questions. You did such a good job, Joe. You answered every last question. You know, hands, 
behind your back, ma'am. With that as the background, this takes on a totally different look. And tomorrow he is going to give his uh, what they are billing as the last big speech on the world stage. Yes, I mean, quite, it's quite a legacy wrapped up. Nearly 50 years in the political life wrapped up tomorrow on the world stage. And with stage, many more conflicts left. underway than when he Absolutely. started. Absolutely, yes. Kayla, see you at noon. Thank Thanks. you. Oh. Well, there y'all go, man. She's ducking and dodging and hiding. We don't know who's running the country. <sighs> Prayers for America. I love y'all, man. Bless you all and your families. We're wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. And it has to be too big to rig. We're in a fight to get our country back. We're in a fight to bring common sense back, to get just a change of leadership, you know? We're sick of the lies. We're sick of the brainwashing. We're sick of the fake news. Millions are struggling and dying, have died. It's time for a change, y'all. But y'all hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.